good evening everyone uh was my voice was audible for you can someone please raise your hand guys was my voice audible for you guys please can someone raise your hand with an emoji timing is getting late fine thank you so much fine 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 good evening guys okay today let's recap somehow of the general world and there was also some more of thing to discuss okay okay let's revise the points the it, the iot was in a most uh, abundant in a manufacturing and transportation yeah i'm going to explain detailly more of going through applications in the more in, in the more uh, slides so manufacturing and transportation utility organizations these use the sensors uh, basically and uh, other iot devices would be uh, it also have some other uses cases of organizations within like agriculture infrastructure home automation industries and some some of the organizations uh, and also it has it towards digital transformation also it needed to and uh the iot mostly benefits the farmers uh, of an ag agriculture to make the job easier and the next thing was uh, it also helped to monitor the surrounding infrastructure with the sensors just like an example of uh, monitoring some kind of events uh, which changes the structural buildings bridges and etc so on and home automation business can also used by the iot monitor and it would be manipulate a mechanical and uh, electrical systems in a building these iot touches every industry uh, including the healthcare finance retail and manufacturing etc so this is all about a general one and also it it helps to leave work smarter and the consumers of for example if uh, if we use an iot with an embedded such like a connected car smart watch or some thermostats etc it improves the lives lives of our okay an example uh, if if person got uh, uh, arrives the home then the car would be uh, communicate with the uh, some gar garbage of to open the door okay in this sense only and it could also adjust the uh, exact temperature and their lighting could be set by the lower intensity or also any color specifications of etc so in that way we could not be control uh, the control the things of within a iot itself we just we just said simply set to be a smart key so in that way next thing was in in addition to offering some smart devices to automate homes yeah we know that so yeah some smart devices has been used for like automation homes uh, which has in uh, initial to business and provides the organizations with a real time look uh, into how the system really work so by delivering insights into the everything from from the performance of machines to supply chain this logistics will be an operations will okay by it it provides a addition of a smart devices to automate the homes okay for initial businesses and etc and also it provides the organizations with a real time look to how their systems were really working okay the real time uh, things which was uh, the real time organizations just like a smart watches and etc which it can work uh in uh, this which it can work really work 
and this insight uh, by delivering of an insights to uh, into the everything for a performance of a missions to its supply chain and logistic operations to it performs and also this iot enables the missions to complete the task without any human human intervention okay and the company is going to be automatically being processed and it's going to reduces the cost and it would been cut down the waste and it improves the service delivery okay and uh, and also it helps to be less expensive as we discussed just before uh, like just before sessions so in that way of a manufacturing and it delivered the goods and it also offers to transfer into the customer transactions because a uh, customer a uh, customer transactions okay so this uh, enables the machine to complete the task without human interaction it doesn't need a human to be interacted in, be in between that with that uh, like without that a human interaction only it can complete the task with some softwares and some connected digital uh, digital sources and etc so the company companies got to be morely uh, benefitable for that and these companies could be uh, communicate this processes with uh, advantages of reducing the labor cost by cut down on you know, waste and to improve the service delivery etc these helps to make the less expensive uh, to manufacture and it deliver the goods and offers the transparency into the customer transactions okay and the next thing was uh, this i would use the most important uh, technology because everywhere you go in some kind of thing you going to see i would be more of it so you want to see everything you know, uh, everything to be get to be more in the future to be also uh, i would think so in this way it uh, realize the potential of a connected devices to communicate them competitive okay and the next thing was it has several benefits to uh, organizations some benefits are industrially and specific and some are to be applicable for multiple industries also okay and some common benefits we been included included here okay the basically it is of uh, benefits to organizations only okay it monitors the all over business processes okay it monitors the business uh, business processes like from the start like just from the thing we offer something in online sector and till it uh, arrives to our location and some kind of extra things we discuss in uh, more sessions in that way it monitors everything over the every businesses okay and next thing is it improves the customer experiences it implies you know uh, by uh, getting of a, some kind of experience by some ordering something in some kind of website or uh, by uh, selling of some product in the form of a business it going to give some kind of experience if it in a good way and if it we if we lead it in a good way just uh, with the help of iot then we going to get a, a better experience and we going to get more ideas also improved by the iot itself and with iot itself and the basically it, the two main things everyone would be get in the mind which was a saving time and the money even so in this thing the iot will be uh, very goodly managed and next thing was enhancing of a employee productivity we see so see if we compare the human human uh, processing and the iot processing the iot would be more advanced and also iot doesn't require any human to human interactions and iot was uh, very fastest processes compared to the the human processes and it doesn't require any interaction but the human have uh, so many interactions and like It, humans can divert easily, but coming to here, it does it was it couldn't be divert that easily and very advanced and everything was better compared to human employee productivity, right? So in that way, wait a minute. And the next thing was it provides an integration and an output. Uh, business models. Okay, it provides integration you know, and uh, adaptable for business models. Like wherever we go, we like everyone has a different thought of a business and organizations processes. So everyone has a different different uh, levels of upgrading the levels and also by following the same level. So it required a more of upgrading levels in everywhere. Uh, you even go like coming to the smartphones and smartwatches or some. 
uh, fashion or cosmetics where we go, we require some some things called of advance, okay, to update it and to uh, make sure that it has to be go through people very differently way. So in that in that scenario, we needed some kind of uh, models of an integration, like it, and it's also it has to be also provide some kind of integration. So in that way, it's gonna be very helped. And next thing was enables uh, better business decisions. Okay. Oh uh, yeah. The, in the thing decision making, these IoT has been a very developed compared to other sectors. So in the in the decision making, it has a key role. And uh, not only decision making, the cost and expensive things is also it has a great future compared to other one. So in that way only, the decision making was very uh, and also come and also with the decision making, uh, the increase making of a value for businesses and uh, by delivering of enhanced customer services in that way also it has a very advanced technology because it doesn't require any human to computer interactions to make decisions on the stuff. It just proceed with the good content only. So in that way and. Also, it generates a more a revenue because the profits, as we come, as we say that, so it provides a more of a uh, profits uh, and with the advanced technology and with a great work and in time processing. So in that way, it uh, generates a more revenue compared to the other sectors, and it has a great uh, work of a networking even. This is all about the benefits of an organization. First thing is a monitoring all business process, all business processes. It monitors it, uh, it schedule everything with a good processes. And the next thing was it improves the customer experiences. Customer experiences with some kind of things like called by experiencing in a good way with a good thoughts and with a good uh, processing of uh, till they order to till the end they receive the product. So in that way. And next thing was it, it saves the time uh, and the money, which was most important for every organization and in every business sector and whatever the field was. So it was the most important, which it gives a fulfilling. And the next thing was enhancing of an employee productivity. It, it, uh, it, it, in this point, it was quite advanced compared to other things. So and the next thing was provides an integration and adoptable business models. Uh, it provides an integration and up, like we need to be I get advanced in every step. Uh, the only one thing could it mean process process processed by the whole life, right? So in the business they need obviously some advanced thing. So for that it's gonna be for that it's gonna be very advanced. Thing. And next thing was it enables the business decisions. Uh, the, like it's a very well, you know, it, it has a very good at a deliver enhanced customer services, and it also it improves the business decisioning and it increases the value of a businesses also and it doesn't require any to human to uh, computer interaction right so with that sense only it's going to make a great decision making compared to that and next thing was it generates some more revenue okay uh the product uh, the product whatever the delivering it has the the, the whole process has to be done with 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 a step by step process of a uh, good good step with a good idea and with good modeling and with good productivity and whatever the process has to be very monetarily, it has to be very done, very goodly has to be done. So in that way, if it's done with an IOT, then it's going to be morely productive compared to other things. So it generates in that way more revenue. And the next thing was uh, pros and cons of a general IOT. So basically, IoT was important just because it helps the people to live and work smarter. Okay, uh, and uh, more of these doesn't require any human to computer interactions or human to human interactions. So a thing of an internet of a thing can be uh, built with building with the sensors, and it's gonna be uh, transfer the data over a network even with just stick in the internet protocol itself IP address. So because it is important just because uh, it is a natural naturally it, it was just important because the people can leave people can uh, people can leave and work smarter and it is one of the most important uh, for the technologies and it continues with an advance and or as of a more as often a more of a business that realize that potential of a connected devices to keep it to, to keep better for competitive 
and this was being used uh, for uh, artificial intelligence and the machine learning to aid of uh, making a data collection. Guys, please join in the time. Question, please. Okay, it is more important and the IOT was a more important just because it, it, it helps to people live and work smarter. And these uh, this have some, some kind of an examples for like cars, smartphones, etc. It basically improves the lives and this is one of the most important technologies and it continues to be, to be in an advance for a business to realize that the potential of a connected device is to keep the, the competitive process. Okay, and this uh, IOT is going to be used for a artificial intelligence on machine learning to add a making of a data collection process easier and the more or uh, easier and to be a more dynamic. Okay, pros of an IoT in a general world and it enables uh, it enables to access the information from anywhere at any play any time on any device. Okay. Okay. The IoT enables to access the information from anywhere, often anytime, on any devices. Okay, you come to know that what it really means. The information, whatever it have, like uh, it, 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 it doesn't require any location. It doesn't require any particular sensors. It can really, uh, uh, like anywhere, the information can be get to be accessed on in uh, on any devices. Like if you compare the smartwatch and uh, mobile it can access some kind of calls it can access some kind of, it can access some kind of a calls in any time with a particular uh, it doesn't require so if we got any notification going to be show for you in that way it doesn't only just require the data but in that way so the information whatever it has it's going to be uh, anywhere uh, access by any time on any devices so the next one was it improves the communication uh, between uh, the connected electronic devices, just like I have mentioned just now. Uh, it can uh, communicate between electronic devices, just, just in the just in the definition of IoT, even that, that was there now. It is a network of inter interrelated devices that going to be connect and exchange the data with an other IoT device and uh, it's going to be cloud. Basically, it has been embedded with some technology of the sensors and so on, software and etc. So in this way, it's gonna be. It improves the communication between the connected electronic devices. Basically, the working of an IoT only is that only. You know, creating some network, uh, network of an interrelated devices of to connect and exchange the data. Okay. The next thing is it enables to transfer the data packets over a connected network, uh, which can save the time and money. <clears throat> Just not have mentioned right. Uh, the the term of an IoT is all about. It is a network which it transfers of uh, connect and it exchanges the data with of integrated devices and it, it uh, and the cloud event. In that way, it transfers the data packets over the connected network. And next thing was it collects a large amount or large amounts of a. It uh, also and yeah, it also collects a large amount of data from a multiple devices by adding a both users and the manufacturers. OK, uh, it is uh, it's not funny. Uh, just like we have discussed in earlier stages. I would was not of only a small, a small like only for home things, applications or for office things and etc. It is also for I would was also for a big data transformation and big data of analyzing or keeping of an data, storing of an data. So it is not often a, only for some kind of a stages, but it has a huge range in us from the small town to from the high towns. So it, in that sense, only they are just saying that uh, the, it collects a large amount of data from multiple devices. Yeah, 
even I have to mention this this point. It is not about about of a communicating some kind of a data between a two devices. It can be communicate with a multiple processes and more of the processes even. So the both uses uh, and the both uses can be uh, some transmit some kind of a data and a manufacturer's even. And it analyzes the data. And the next thing was it analyzes the data at the edge and it reduces the amount of a data that needed to be sent in the cloud. Okay, it reduces this. Yeah. The whatever data uh, important and the whatever data the unless was not used and the whatever data we really uh, need to be done every day. It's going to be analyzed that and it's going to be uh, sustained to be a some kind of uh, percentage and it's going to be sent to the cloud. OK, which was most important because in our daily wear applications also we keep unwanted data to in our uh, in our mobiles or lappies or whatever the documentations etc thing so we make sure that that uh, has to be important from the point in time but we doesn't make uh, the thing to be deleted from our, uh, our application so basically it is a good thing it's it provides a great space to our device whatever we are using so in that way and that way uh, it reduces the amount of a data which was need to be and sent to be in the, to the cloud Okay, next thing was the automatic task to be improved the quality of a business services and it reduces the need of a human intervention. Okay, these are the task of an automate. It is going to be improve that the they're going to improve that quality of a business services and also it reduces the need of a human. Yes, like I have mentioned this before now. Uh, the, with an IoT, the data are going to be transferable over a network without requiring any human to human interactions or a way to a human to computer interactions. OK, that way only. And it, it improves the quality of a business services, not only in this one business sectors in organizations and so many sectors, it's going to be improves the quality of a business uh, quality of a services in each term. It has a different level of um, qualities. So in that way, it's going to be uh, proceeded with the quality uh, coming into like agriculture, manufacturing, retail marketing, etc, etc. In that way, only it's going to be more uh, quality done and the next thing was uh, enables the healthcare patients to be cared for a con uh, continually and more effectively yeah we have discussed some kind of health issues uh, like health uh, for things which are going to be used for like health issues and the personal care of a healthcare players in that uh, there was a more i'll explain in detail in the sessions more for more sessions in that uh, they want to like remote a remote patient monitoring glucose mon glucose monitoring glucose uh, glucose monitoring and some kind of things in that it's going to be more roughly used uh, 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 advanced technologies and it's going to be read off the so many unwanted uh, for so many unwanted uh, unwanted things eventually in that way of a healthcare patients uh, uh, like uh, some kind of uh, robotic surgeries, connected contact lens, uh, ingestible sensors, depression and mood monitoring, connected inhalers, and we go on, we're going to think we go on. So in that way, it's going to help for a personal healthcare or some healthier carriers or healthcare uh, payers. Yeah, this is all about, I'll explain one more time. It was uh, the pro the first point was it enables access to information from anywhere to any time on any device. It's just like I have just mentioned some kind of an example, which was uh, Bluetooth connections. It's going to be uh, if the thing was a uh, near of us, it's going to be automatically connected. Is someone speaking? So someone speaking over there. Yes. Ma'am, nothing. Ma Shall I continue? Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much. Okay. Okay, fine. The pros. It access the information from anywhere to any time on any devices. Just like I have mentioned this before, the Bluetooth sensor 
it can uh, access the the even the device automatically when it plays in here so in that way only it gonna info it gonna get some in information with kind of notifications and etc and uh, with the bluetooth you can transport the data even like if the two devices having a bluetooth uh, nearby share some kind of things so in these such kind of an applications then it's going to be uh, access and it is going to be enable the data of information which going to be uh, transferred from the between the both devices between the both devices and the next thing was it it improves the communication between connected de electronic devices not only in that way in other way also of an electronic devices it's going to be communicate and it's going to be and it's going to improve the communication between uh sensors like like quality in your way i gonna say that and the next thing was uh, it enables to transfer the data packets over the connected network and it saves the time and money. Just like I have mentioned, the IoT is all about the IoT, the IoT was all about the network, which was interrelated of a connect and exchange the data with another IoT devices and the cloud. And these devices are going to be typically with embedded of a technology of a sensors and software and going to be included of a mechanical or a digital machines of a consumer objects. So yeah. In this way, uh, uh, and the main advantage of uh, IoT was to be it kind of it 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 was very well of improving of uh, decision making and uh, it increases the value of a businesses, and at the same time also it saves the money and the time too, which was most important in any uh, organizations. So yeah, and the next thing was uh, it collects a large amount of data. Not uh, yeah. Multiple devices are one, both users and one version. Yeah, it's not uh, all of not only for a smart uh, like not only for smart things which was for a home or applications or an office applications or some kind of uh, basically in of applications. It is also for applications for a great or a great of a business things of a large amount of data which can be inbuilt from in between. Uh, huge uh, huge huge of a data transformations so in that way also it was very advanced not only for uh, homely things and smart some kind of small 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 applications for some automatic fans or some things it has a great uh, uh, like great line for also for a great uh, big sectors just like a gated community of a colleges and etc that way and second thing uh, uh, sorry the fourth thing, uh, fifth thing was it analyzes the data at an age and it reduces the data. Yeah, in the uh, in this point, we're gonna uh, simply say that we st we store unwanted stuff of a data in we store some unwanted stuff of a data in in our uh, applications. So in this, basically, it removes unwanted data which we doesn't uh, require to be used of a uh, of a daily purposes. So. It was a good thing actually. In, even it provides a great storage of uh, things. So in that way, and the next thing was, uh, it automatically tasks to improve the quality of a business services and it reduces the need of a human inter intervention. Just like I have mentioned this before, uh, with an IoT data transformation of uh, over a network, it's it gonna be it's it gonna be done without any human to human. It's gonna be done without any human to human interactions. Or a human to computer interactions. Okay. It doesn't require any that human to human interaction. It just only required and going to be used by the artificial intelligence and uh, machine learning to add of a make, making of data collection processes with, with an easier and a more often and dynamic. Okay. With a more often and dynamic. So it also improves the quality of a business services automatically. So in that way, uh, it improves the quality uh, quality with uh, up, uh, with a, like uh, like uh, it just updates the quality if it doesn't have any uh, interactions of uh, in difficulties. So in that way, and the next thing was uh, it enables the healthcare patients to be cured or uh, healthcare patients to be cured uh, very uh, very fastly. So yeah, just like uh, personal healthcare healthcare carriers have some kind of uh, technologies of applications, which was a remote patient monitoring or uh, glucose uh, glucose monitoring of instable sensor, connected connected contact lens, robotic surgery, and etc. Things in this it has been inbuilt of a very highly quality. 
next coming to the con cons of next thing and it it, it increases the attack service, service as a number of connected devices grows as an information is shared in between the devices the potential of hacking to be on a steel confidentially information increases so here the attack the basic attack was to be hacker which has a potential to steal the confidential information which has an increases of its more uh, increases of a more of a source so here the more information is going to be shared in between the devices also going to be uh, going to be hacked for some kind of a stealing for confidential information increases and the next thing was it it makes the device management as a quite a bit of a challenging as the number of iot devices has been increased so if the devices count going to be increases then the challenging uh, of a managing management also will be, are going to be get some kind of a difficulties okay and the organizers might be uh, eventually have to deal with a massive number of iot devices like uh, if the count has been in increased of an iot devices then uh, the massive number of uh, dealing has to be also done and by collecting and the managing of such kind of a data it it uh, it going to be so difficult and it going to be quite hacking process hacking chance is going to be very high and so these devices could be a challenging yes they have mentioned and the next thing was it has a high potential to uh, corporate other connected devices if it's a bug in the system so yeah it has a huge potential of a connected devices if there was any bug of any system and next thing was it increases the capability issues between the devices and there is no and there is no international standard of a capability for an iot yeah there was no intention uh, there was no uh, international thing of a capability for an iot uh, and it just it has to be a uh, very increases or uh, the capability in between the devices only so yeah it makes difficult uh, to for a devices from a uh, different manufacturers to communicate with each other okay it was a difficult task for uh, any devices to uh, from the different manufacturers to be communicated within each other okay to communicate with each other of uh, with the different manufacturers it's going to be quite difficult for a devices and this of uh, uh, some cons just let me repeat for some more time which was uh, it increases the attack services of an a number of connected devices grows okay if the count of a number of devices has been grown then it the attacking of uh, this thing and the hacking of the skin this thing going to be uh, very confidentially done and this information going to be increases okay and uh, it is a quite challenging coming to when the iot devices has uh, more chances of increasing so when if, 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 if when the organizations uh, has to be deal with the massive uh, massive number of devices and going to collect and it going to manage the data through all the devices could be could be a bit of a challenge okay here the collecting and the managing of a data of an all devices is going to be uh, going to be quite challenging and it has a uh, high potential to connect Uh, the devices with uh, to co uh, cooperate. If there is a bug or bug in the system. It's a little quite difficult uh, to identify the some kind of a bugs in a system, uh, be, like while having uh, so many processes to when when it has been com uh, communicated it, like connected with the network with the same network. And the next thing was it increases the capability issues in between the devices. There is no international standard. The bad thing of uh, IoT was. and yeah it has a difficult uh, device it is really difficult coming to the when the devices has been uh, different manufacturers to communicate like uh, if the both were not manufactured with the same piece then it's going to be a little difficult because the applications of that network and application of these network going to be uh, quite differences because everything every application has been inbuilt in a own way and with the own theories not uh, like uh, we couldn't uh, we couldn't see the similarity of Uh, of an uh, Instagram or a WhatsApp, right? I know some kind of a, there was a deal of in between that, but the, it, end of the day, it's a WhatsApp, WhatsApp only. End of the day, it's Instagram, Insta only, right? So in that way, it has a different manufacturers. So it's gonna be difficult to get to be and communicate with each other. That's how.
okay this is of an iot general world it it was in a most abundant uh, in a manufacturing and transportation utilization this organizations it uses the sensors basically and other uh, iot devices and this uses the organizations within of agriculture of infrastructure and home automation industries etc these leads some organizations towards a digital transformation also it has a high benefit of to farmers in agriculture by making their job easier okay job easier and it also helps to monitor the operations by surrounding of infrastructures some sensors like example of a monitor it going to change uh, monitoring it events or it changes with st uh, structural buildings etc etc of uh, challenges it basically monitors the operations okay the iot the most of the work of iot is to monitor the operations of a different sectors with the sensors only mostly and the next thing was the home automation business can also use the iot to iot to monitor and manipulate mechanical electrical systems in a electrical systems in a building etc like for an home automation business they going to manipulate some mechanical things and electrical things for in a building and the iot touches a very industry in iot touches in every industry including healthcare finance retail man manufacturing etc in this whole things the iot going to be involved and it going to be uh, some kind of uh, some kind of involvement going to be appear whenever we whenever we choose some kind of uh, applications the small even the small term going to be get involved in the health care of in whatever the so on so in that way they are saying and it helps to be a uh, people to live and work smarter for uh, like was smarter of a consumers just like an example of uh, embedded devices such like connected cars smart smart watches and uh, etc and it got to improve our lives for example when a person really arrives at home their car could be in communicate with a garbage to open the door right so in that way only this going to be uh, this could be adjust some kind of a, um, also a temperature and that lighting set to be a low intensity or also color etc so in that in this way in this addition of offering the smart devices it's going to be automatically homes and to be essential of a businesses also it provides some kind of an uh, real time into a system so really work delivering insight into a, everything the performance of a machine is to be supplied to be supply chain and logic operations okay it enables i would say basically enables the machines to complete the task without any human interaction where i have said this before human to human interaction or human to machine interactions so yeah the company is going to be operate the automatic processes as we can see so many companies gone were using nowadays diabetes for a more in industrial business etc so it going to be uh, so the most profitable for thing was thing was for them to cost time saving thing the two things were most important for uh, the business purposes or else any other organizations also so it going to reduce uh, the labor co labor cost and it going to be cut down on a waste and it improves the service delivery it also helps make us to less expensive of our manufacturing and it delivers goods and it offers a transparency to into the customer transactions okay uh, iot was one of the most important technologies and it comes to in advance as more business realizes the potential and connected car uh, connected devices to keep them a competitive as we have just uh, discussed and it has a great future in advances and going it going to be inbuilt within a more of a software updates and it going to be very lead to the very great thing next thing was the beneficial of organization beneficial to organizations uh, some benefits of an industry uh, specific and some uh, some are applicable to the across the uh, multiple industries and uh, some benefits offer business is included in the following downward well, it monitors all the business processes just to have just mentioned this before itself like from the start to end it going to be if it going to be more uh, monitored in a well way then it going to improve the customer experiences also right so in this way next point even that only right so yeah it improves the customer experiences just like if, we, if they gave the much of uh, much of a good uh, experiences like uh, much of a good processing and a product delivering and a product receiving everything if it's done on on time with a delivery date and etc thing then it going to be improve the customer experience right so they they want to feel uh, they want to feel like like uh, they going to recome and they going to repurchase something else so in that way 
and also it saves the time and the money which was most important uh which uh like uh which this thing has to be get operated by iot only because uh the human to interaction doesn't do doesn't require any such kind of deadlines easily so something every like even the process everything was done very good even you gonna get delay in some kind of time so the iot can play the major role in towards this and every business and organizations required this thing and the next thing was enhancing of a employee productivity enhancing of a product, employee productivity uh, was and uh, having a productivity of a quality of a thing from an employee uh, which i would in employee productivity going to be inbuilt with a great uh, great output so with a processing of an everything and with monitoring of an some kind of applications or some kind of software it going to be count the combination going to be very uh, productively output and the next thing was it provides a integration and affordable uh, sorry adaptable business models every like uh, to to increase uh, to increase your business activities you require to be update updation majorly right so you require a major update updatable thing in a business model like uh, the the same product gonna be the same product or same thing gonna be not gonna stay for so long it gonna be get bored or it gonna be get of old in any time so you require a uh, you require a business of an adaptable of a new models which gonna be attract the people on it which gonna be they make a good change over there so uh, even this was a uh, one of the um, productivity thing and uh, next thing was it enables a better decision of a business uh, business decisions this like i have said morely they concentrate on some things which was uh, in, a bus- in a business basically which was a more efficiency deliver enhanced uh, customer services improves it, it improves the decision it improves the decision making and uh, increasing the value of a businesses etc in this way morely they concentrate upon improving of business decision making and increasing of an value of the businesses in this way it have a better enables it, it 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 enables a better business decisions and also it, it it generates some kind of more revenue like all of this processes has been done in a very great way then it going to be more beneficial right so in that way only a minute It generates some more revenue, just like I have just said it before. That uh, if you if this all things has been processed in a great way, uh, like for a benefit or whatever the processing. So um, if it if it gonna done in a great way, then it gonna be more revenue, right? So in that way only, it generates more of a cost. The pros. It enables and it accesses the information from everywhere of and at any time on any devices. so it improves uh, the communication it is like uh, it access the information like just to have just just said like if it can access the every information from any de- from any time of on any devices like uh, even like you know the data transmission doesn't require any time like if it was some kind of time of a morning or evening that doesn't require any time right whenever you want to share the data if you connected with some kind of network then it's going to be uh, transmitted immediately to any device right so in that way, every device has some kind of a network of uh, uh, connecting devices inter- interrelated of a devices so in that way and also it, ca- it improves the communication between the connected electronic devices okay it, ha- it improves the communication between electro- not only for uh, transmitting of a data it also as a communication in between of a connected electronic devices and it and it enables to transmit the data packets over over a data <coughs> connected network it saves the time and like it, it transfers a, like the basic work of an iot is only by it having a network and it was it, which was it integrated devices that connect and exchange the data with another iot devices and it would be in a cloud or something else so in that way it going to be cl- it going to be cloud or something else in that way so and with that it has some it has some improving improving improvement of a decision making 
or else an increasing of an value of a businesses etc and it uh, really have a uh, editing of a saving time and a money and etc it collects a large amounts of data for uh, from uh, multiple uh, devices and by editing of uh, both uh, users and the uh, manufacturers it collects uh, like uh, yeah by what it was not only for smart uh, so like smart applications of an uh, home or an office of uh, some kind of nearest distances it also for uh, the it was also for of an uh, uh collecting of a large amount of a data from a multiple devices it is the ability was not for only for two devices which can have some kind of the easy network and which can uh, transform the data of of a soul less like some kind of gb which was a less gb of a data it is for a multiple processor also which can the multiple devices gonna be uh transmit the data within a large amount not only like for some kind of small small Uh, small small kind of a data it going to collect a large amount of data from a multiple devices and it it going to be add both users and manufacturers for that also and the next thing was it analyze the data with an edge and it reduce the amount of data that needed to be sent in the cloud right it's going to collect the amount of a data from a multiple and devices and it's going to add for both users and manufacturers manufacturers was and users were nothing but a big big organization they only use in such kind of a large amount of a data and they only uh, can be transferred from a multiple devices uh, for saving of a time and etc things and next thing was uh, it, it yeah in every corner of a like whatever in an iot smart uh, applications uh, in every corner of an a data it's going to be analyzed and uh, the, the it's going to reduce the amount of uh, uh, needs to be sent to the cloud okay then what the data going to be arise in this uh, uh, iot sector it, it's going to be arise then what the data and it's going to be implement for the need whatever how much it's going to be sent to the cloud and the automation task going to be improve the quality of business services and it reduces the need for a human intervention okay intervention okay it doesn't uh, this point specifically says that it doesn't require any human to human interaction or it doesn't require any human to computer interactions okay it doesn't require any hum, hum, uh, human to computer interactions okay these a uh, task going to improve by a quality of a business services and it Uh, by the like quality of it, it improves the quality services with some having a several keys for developing of an uh, organization or a business. Okay, it the, the working of an IoT is only that that sense making of a things to be smarter, a smarter and to be developed in a on time and by saving of it uh, money and the time both of things. So in that way, it's gonna be uh, this task gonna be include uh, improve the quality of business services etc. and it reduces the need of a uh, human intervention like yeah just like i have just mentioned before uh, it doesn't require any human to human interaction or doesn't require any human to computer interactions right so in that way and next thing was it enables a patient uh, healthcare patients to be cared for continuously just to have just said now For like personal healthcare and a healthcare barriers or for healthcare pay pay or something this thing, 
just like a remote patient monitoring glucose uh, glucose uh, glucose monitoring and some kind of uh, sen instable sen sensors like heart rate monitoring ha uh, hand sanitizer monitoring depression and mood monitoring uh, connected inhalers uh, robotic surgery connected uh, contact lens and this kind of things so in these things they want to help for uh, patients to be cared and continue uh, continuously and more of an efficiently and coming to the cons yeah it increases the attack surface uh, surface it increases the attack uh, surface as a number of uh, connected devices grows okay like yeah by connect, by the amount of a connecting devices uh, for an uh, for an network like if they have a huge amount of a connecting devices for an network then it going to be get hacked very easily just because of a more of confidential information is also going to be steal uh, from some kind of a hacker so it, it it has a major issue of a connecting of a connecting of a major devices towards a one network so by yeah by sharing of with between devices also that thing really says uh, and the next thing was um, makes the devices management of a quite challenging often a number of devices increases just like i have just mentioned before not only for a hacking thing but also for managing and it going to be very challenging thing for an iot devices when it going to be when it has to came to the increases these organizations might equally have to deal with a massive number of iot devices okay and by collecting and managing from the data from all the devices this could be a challenging okay uh, organizations might equally have to deal with a massive number of iot devices you know like it this organization has to be deal with a really a massive number of iot devices with this it going to be collect and managing data going to be little uh, difficult and challenging compared to that so yeah and also it has a high potential to uh, operate other devices if there any bug in the system so it is really a quite a potential to operate other devices if there is uh, the bug occurred because uh, the like because the potential of an like any network or also any connected devices of a data it's going to be very difficult to uh, get a bug and to get acute that much faster because it is all uh, the, like iot for not only for a small sectors but is a high sectors in the high sectors we should not get a glitch or any of an a bug in the system so for that thing it's going to be like uh, it has a uh, potential to uh, uh, like it, it doesn't uh, have a such a capacity of uh, to rectify it a very fastly way so that it increases the uh, compatibility issues in between the devices because because there was no international standard of a co uh, compatibility for an iot the bad thing was uh, due to because of this the more of an issues going to be somehow kindly cannot be get rectified okay with this thing uh, it's going to be like hardly eaten and next thing was it makes difficult uh, to for the devices from to manufacturers to communicate with any each other okay uh, manufacturer to communicate with each other it is difficult because like uh, like this like i have just mentioned before uh, if some having the application of a different format and some having application of different format maybe it going to be look uh, very similar but it really hard to be combined with and it to be it really hard to be communicate with each other with the phone we couldn't make a whatsapp message right in that way only uh, if the other if some kind of application having some kind of uh, processing of a some kind of different way and some kind of application could be have with a some kind of uh, with a different way of a processing the both working can be be not uh, same the both working group could be not been same and so the same processes just like a pros we have just mentioned about the information access it going to be at any time and in every place wait a minute guys Yeah, it enables and it accesses the information from anywhere 
uh, any time. Second point was the communication between the electronic devices is going to be done. And the next thing was uh, it call, uh, it transmits the data packets over the connected networks and it's going to be save time and money. And next thing was it collect it collects the large amount of data from a multiple pro multiple devices and it's going to be adding by the both users and manufacturers itself. It can collect mean a large amount of data from multiple pro, multiple devices for a, like huge IoT smart applications, not just small, small kind of applications. And next thing was whatever the data it transmits or it inbuilt it or it's going to be connected, it's going to be transfer or communication, etc. Everything it's going to be uh, analyzes and it reduces the amount of data that needed to be sent to the the cloud. It, it analyzes uh, and it uh, ensures the data whatever it required. So in that way, the automatic, automatically the task is going to be improved by, uh, improved by quality of our Google services and reducing the need of human interaction. It improves uh, the quality, it improves the quality of our business services. It improves the, uh, it automatically, it, the, the task is going to be improve the quality of the business services. The working of IoT was also your main sector. It's going to be updated very frequently and it's going to make the things of in a makes the things of a, by saving of a time and saving of a money with e free uh, you know manageably it basically monitors the services whatever the applications what was built in every sector okay and it reduces the human in intervention so i just have this mention uh, and said to you that uh, it doesn't require any human to human interaction or it doesn't require any human to computer interactions right it, it is a network of a transferable data uh, without requiring of humans or without requiring of human and the human, uh, computer interactions, right? So in that way, uh, it, the thing of an internet switch can be uh, less like a uh, just like a built-in with the sensors and uh, it's going to be assigned uh, as, as an internet protocol which addresses it and enable to transfer the data over a network, okay? Next thing is, it enables our healthcare patient uh, patients to be cared out uh, continuously and more efficiently. Just like I have just said to you. It helps to uh, something. Uh, the the personal healthcare or uh, the healthcare carriers and the healthcare prayers basically it checks the coming to the healthcare basically it uh, checks the blood pressure and the coronary heart charge band and it has a, there are also a power by means of antibody which connects us to the <coughs> us to the healthcare the mission by getting well time assistance when the something isn't always a proper. <coughs> Okay, as a, as a remote patient monitoring, uh, we, the remote patient monitoring was uh, it's a common application of an <coughs> common application for <coughs> healthcare. These devices can be automatically collected of on a health matters like a heart rate, BP, pressure, uh, bed pressure, temperature, and more often. It's not a, not a physically present in a healthcare facility. And yeah, it's gonna travel to provide for a uh, patient to collect themselves. Uh, when IoT collects this particular data, it forwards to software applications also. Uh, this is a remote patient monitoring. Next thing was uh, glucose monitoring. Glucose monitoring has been done for a diabetes uh, diabetes requirement, diabetes required application. So yeah, they have faced some kind of an issue in a previous days for uh, checking of results and the reports recording values etc things so in the exact time they have provided this thing called glucose monitoring and these uh glucose monitoring uh in this the glucose monitoring they they addressed the challenges of providing for continuous 
and then the glucose levels in the patients has been uh, monitored with the devices and they eliminated the keep of needing a keep of records and etc manually they alert the patients when the glucose levels are problematic okay next thing was heart rate monitoring like in glucose the uh, monitoring heart rates going to be uh, can be challenging just like glucose only uh, it can be challenging because for the patients which are been there for a healthy care facilities these uh, periodic heart rate check the uh, don't uh, guide ans rapid fluctuations in the heart rate for a conventional devices like uh, devices for a continuous cardiac monitoring etc has been used to uh, patients for attached to wide machine constantly but impairing, impairing their uh, mobility it keeps the patients to be a uh, free of uh, moving around like in with like while ensuring their heart rates or monitor continuously but uh, alert some uh, accurate results if something was a uh, difficult to the staff okay next thing was hand hygienic monitoring traditionally it hasn't been a good way to ensure the pro uh, product uh, providers and the patients to be injured in healthy care so you know how important the hand sanitizing sanitizing process was so in this way they caught up with an hospital specially so uh, yeah you know that right hospital uh, hospital in uh, firstly and their healthcare operations uh, to remind people to be sanitize their hands because while they enter into the hospital rooms they want the device is going to be they give some instructions how to bend the sanitize to mitigate the particular risk from the particular patient right so in that way the devices were being reduced for infection rates are more than 60% in hospital for after using this so if, uh, the next thing was in a healthcare the depression and a mode monitoring basically it is one of the most most difficult thing to monitor in a uh, in a healthcare department because it gonna not gonna be come out the result with the testing or with the, some reports and etc it going to be come out according to the sudden anticipate of a mood swings okay so they 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 have named it as a mood aware okay mood aware which was this can be addressed by the challenging by collecting of analyzing data they going to calculate this with only heart pressure and a blood pressure okay and then later they come to know that they can also track this thing the data with such as a I movement see. of Guys, someone spoke right now. I think right. Who's? Is there any difficulty? Respond now. Is everything fine? Can someone please raise your hand with an emoji? Fine, thank you. Okay, so uh, coming to the depression and mo mood monitoring, this is going to be addressed with by analyzing the data of his heart rate and a blood pressure only. And later they come to know that they can track the data with of a movement of a patient eyes. Okay, it is a key challenge or where it, uh, the matrix like this can couldn't be predict the depression symptoms or is it going to be cause some certain uh, with an incomplete accuracy, okay, on but neither traditionally in person for mental assessment. Okay, the next thing was a connected inhalers, which uh, it, it is or uh, has been developed uh, just like uh, automatically because of an asthma and COPD, which was abbreviated, abbreviated like uh, chloronic obstructive pulmonary disease. It is a long time, uh, it was caused just because of a long time smoking or on tobacco, which can cause a damage at lungs or any areas. It helps the patients by monitoring the frequent by attacks, as well as the data from the environment to help uh, healthcare providers to understand what triggered the attack. Okay, basically the inhaled, uh, so the connected inhalers are being uh, ca caused conditions while the asthma and COPD, which was a chloric obstructive pulmonary disease, it is causes because of a long term of smoking or tobacco. It's going to be caused for damage to the lung, lung, lungs and the airways. It helps the patients by monitoring the frequency and often attacks as well as the data from uh, environment to help the healthcare providers to understand what triggered the attack. 
and uh, coming to the next thing or coming to the next thing was intelligence sensors these intelligence sensors were also a most important sensor of a healthcare department which was it collects it collects the data you know it sounds really normal but it collects the data from the inside of our body okay it as repeating one more time it collects the data from inside of our body with of a typically some kind of messy and highly descriptive affair with this uh, possible way it collects the information from a digestive and other systems as much less invasive way where uh, it going to be inside the uh, human's stomach ph levels okay and this going to be help for the pinpoint of a source of an internal bleeding okay these devices have a small enough to a uh, small easily and they must be able to dissolve or pass through a human body uh, where with the creamy on other own the several com companies has been hardly had worked with this things and sas but to meet such kind of a criteria whatever the ingestible ingestible uh, sensor was being in, in uh, was being a uh, very difficult thing because it collects the data from inside of our body by uh, impl implanting of some kind of sensor in our stomach with uh, with the incising of our ph levels the working of this thing was uh, it just goes inside of our levels and it going to just uh, test the ph levels and for intense a uh, pinpoint source internal bleeding next thing was a connected uh, connected lens connected contact lens uh the smart uh, contact lens provide the another opportunity for collecting of a healthcare data in a passive and this could be in, uh initially gonna be like connected contact lens was nothing but a, including of a micro micro cameras cameras and these things by like by like by wearing of this uh wearing of this contact lens to uh are efficiently it gonna take pictures of an eyes which are which are probably uh which company like this more been implanted okay in the smart face this promises to turn the human eyes to be a powerful tool for a digital interactions okay it, uh, it was a some kind of a basic ad, uh, basic advanced technology where uh, these kind of contact smart lens have the micro cameras which allows you to efficiently take the picture of an eyes which probably which which can be uh, promising to uh, to turn the human eyes into a powerful tool for a digital interactions and the next thing was robotic surgery and this in this robotic surgery everything would be uh, done with a internet protocol which uh, by deploying some kind of internet connected robotics in the inside of a human body the surgeries can perform the complex of a procedure procedures which want to be operation etc thing it's going to be difficult to manage it's going to be difficult to manage the with a human using hands so there's going to they're going to go with a robotic surgery at the same time this performs a small iot devices which can reduce the size of an incisions and it's going to be required to perform the surgery and this is going to lead to for a less invasive processes and for the healing for our patients and this device is going to be so much enough of a small enough and reliable through to perform the surgeries with a minimal distributions okay they must also have able to uh, interpret the complex conditions inside the bodies in order to make uh, right decisions about how to proceed uh, during the surgery and etc things but robots are already have been used for the surgery and are showing the challenges to be advocately addressed these are the healthcare these, these are the personal health healthcare uh, things often let's 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 go for the thing another content which was iot for a technical professionals iot for a technical profession uh, professionals okay these organizations has been best suited for a iot uh, where to benefit uh, for a sensor devices etc for a business processes so these are basically business processes where we have listed it down below which was a manufacturing automotive transportation and logistics retail public sector and the healthcare coming to the first thing which was a manufacturing uh, 
the the iot performance of a manufacturing uh, would be a transport transforming often is some kind of a way organizations in a different industries and these going to do on inbuilt the businesses by including some uh, manufacturing com companies till now the technology has been uh, really used for primarily for running the business and manage, uh, managing of um, operations for so for the automatically processes and for collecting of an relatable data to assemble the jobs these iot got to be on be a next level for a data collection so uh, the different things like an operations production quality utilization consumption etc these uses the streamline and it's it going to refine the business processes and typically uh, the manufacturing processes has an other important data about a different assets and resources and it, it going to be generate as a part of a production lines which are generally going to be unnoticed or un not captured okay these data is related to the manufacturing assets and uh, which includes some organizations electricity and so on etc these industry has been traditionally uh, has been driven by the innovation and by undergoing open a fourth industrial revolution which was a 4.4 like half just mentioned in a previous session about this industry 4.0 iot so yeah this technology is in this manufacturing promoted as in a modern sensors and it has a very uh, robotic of infrastructures and drives in accurate these areas supply some kind of a transportation communication housing energy production level in this way they gonna really implement uh, there are some steps for a manufacturing thing which was it improves the overall equipment effectiveness which was shortly said to be a oee which was a overall equipment effectiveness the second thing was a new business uh, model for a service businesses like uh, to develop some kind of a businesses the one standard business doesn't stay for a long time it has to be built with some kind of uh, new update updates and a new uh, new uh, sense to the marketing Uh, so for that, uh, it really requires requires a new business models for a service, better services, and to better promoting or to inbuild some profits. So the third thing was uh, scenario was assist the performance management to remote or a mobile assets. So the management was a more important thing to inbuild and to get a profitable outfit so output. So in that way, and next thing was uh, optimize the supply chain logistics and the warehouse operations. So these uh, uh, these planning would be allowed to control and integrate and analyze the optimizing process in a better way to manage by creating a some kind of a network of in between the connected machines systems devices of a humans and etc these connectedness are uh, the data going to be generated from the connected network will uh, provide some manufacturing companies as with a many potential opportunities such like improving operations and etc and having some kind of enhancing of a customer experiences and these going to be uh, strengthen the supply chain and among others uh, these however there is this uh, implementing of an iot solutions going to be in your organization but challenging as it so it requires a better planning to be related of depending the art architecture of an iot on data strategies and right platform to integrate what was existing in tech technologies would be yeah this is often a steps i was repeating one more time the steps was like it improves the overall equipment effectiveness and new business uh, model for a service businesses and to assess the performance management of a remote or a mobile assets optimizing of a supply chain logistics and a warehouse a warehouse uh, operations next thing was uh, like this is all of manufacturing i would be application next thing was an uh, i iot of an automatic industry these would be stands to realize the advantages of use of an iot applications in addition of it to benefit this apply, apply, applying of an iot production lines the sensor can be detect
it stands to realize that uh, advantages we have of the use of these applications. In addition, uh, these benefits of an apply by applying these IoT product lines have a, some kind of sensor which is going to be detect uh, some impending of an equipment failures of uh, vehicles or on the roads and etc. things like for a driver and these things. It refers to a complex system of any devices of a sensor, camera, GPS, tracking, etc. Basically, these are connected to the cloud and provide a real time data that enables the optimization of a car manufacturing processor as well as some kind of more transport management. So, these IoT solutions have turned the vehicles into a smart means of a transportation that which is going to leverage the predictive maintenance or a direct car to car interaction, etc. These AI powered driving assistants and other advanced features to be offered the enhanced road safety and it's going to be having some kind of driving efficiency to individual or in a business alike. Car manufacturers are also have some use of an IoT of an uh, automate uh, production process like uh, like uh, for human error or else enhancing of a quality uh, control. So the the benefits of an IoT of an automatic industry was to clear picture of a manufacturing floor, enhanced in a vehicles and in experiences, safety loads for a drivers and uh, uh, strains and remote remote access to the vehicle information, improved car car maintenance and etc. Okay, come to the first thing of a benefit of an IoT automatic industry was in a clear clear picture of a clear picture of the uh, manufacturing of a floor. Uh, these IoT uh, which would be it it would collect the it, it would collect the massive it, it would collect the massive amount of a uh, data of a uh, products inside to be in a real time uh, processing in the in the inside in types of re, uh, real time processing of an uh, uh, analysis in such uh, in such way the data going to be help for a car manufacturing to improve and uh, to understand and optimizing of an entire product process so by by introducing this thing this thing with the highest standards it's going to be reduce the loss of an in uh, it's going to reduce of the loss and if you want to see how iot solutions could be work in a practices this, this is going to be a very smart way okay and next thing was enhanced in a vehicle of an experiences so uh, the users may grow and now enjoy the range of uh, grow and going to be enjoy the uh, enjoy the base of an a vehicle informant systems with the through of navigation solutions and a telemetrics and a drive assist drive assistance systems etc and it's going to be have some kind of a comfort and efficiency to cover the ownership okay it's going to be have some kind of uh, navigation solutions and uh, driving assistance systems etc this is going to add some comfort and efficient to uh, efficient it's going to be have some comfort and efficiency to to car ownership okay in this way, in this, the uh, vehicle experience is going to be helped. And next thing was benefits of auto automotive industry. In uh, automotive industry, was of a road safety for uh, drivers, road safety for uh, dri drivers, which was uh, which was in a such like an object of recognizing and uh, land detection of automatic braking systems and etc. <clears throat> this offered the driver to assistant uh, to assistant the to reduce the human errors and to make vehicles for a safer for everyone okay the two main functions was to reduce the human uh, human errors and to make the to and to make the and to make the vehicle uh, to be a safer or uh, safer for ev for everyone safer to be for an uh, everyone okay and the next thing was remote access to the vehicle information as users can be get easily relevant information about their cars and etc thing but like such as a few uh, fuel level and allocation of a parking a lot is going to be uh, some kind of a difficulty and wait a minute Time, uh, yeah, remote access to the vehicle information. 
this these users can be e easily get uh, relevant information about the other about the other cars about the other cars and such such as a fuel and level and location for parking a lot but coming to the remotely and mobiling app it saves the time and enhances the driver ex enhance it enhances the driver experiences improved car maintenance and etc uh, like one of the benefit was an improved car maintenance in this the data going to be collected from a sensors and going to be installed in your vehicles so it's going to be analyzed to if they are pre failure car conditions you know how uh, car going to you know while going up a highway with some kind of place it going to give trouble right so yeah to detect such kind of a troubles and in a like a pre failure car conditions it going to be promote uh, it going to be promote the users to take a preventive measures in order to avoid the mall functions and to reduce the cost for a car maintenance car maintenance etc so yeah this data has been collected for iot sensors it, which is going to installed in your vehicles it's going to be analyzed to detect a uh, analyze to analyze to detect some uh, pre failure pre failure car conditions and promote uh, from promoting open users to make a preventive measures in order to avoid the mall functions and to reduce the cost of and a car maintenance and nextly the advantage of our automatic industry was to uh, fleet management and telemats and connected cars predictive maintenance semi auto, auto semi autonomous vehicles etc was repeating one more time fleet management connected cars predictive maintenance semi auto, uh, auto autonomous vehicles the fleet management and a tele telematics going to be uh, these going to be uh, enriches with uh, of a new advanced functionality it uh, mm, making it a more cost effective and it going to be reduce the need of a manual operations the iot device is integrated with a uh, vehicles which can collect the real time data about a vehicle speed location load or fuel consumption driver behavior etc by gaining of a insights from a data with the help of iot and uh, analytics solutions these going to be operate automatically and which going to collect some amount of a optional routes uh, these are uh, monitoring by of a uh, driving habits with their uh, employees which going to screen with vehicle of uh, performances is going to leverage the predictive and maintenance to avoid the business disruptions for instance of a dhl launch its uh, small trucking solutions these uses uh, these uses the iot sensor to gather of a real time fleet data like a location weather traffic etc uh, more of efficient the these schedule and are going to optimize the route route sector route of an uh, route of an way the next thing was a connected cars uh, these going to help uh, the connected car going to be help as to enable the vehicle to vehicle interaction which was shortly said to be v2v and these cars going to be shared the relevant information these cars going to be shared the relevant information like a location routes speeds and etc these helps to prevent the these helps to prevent the accidents or a road safer or making and in case of an emergency these drivers going to be uh, other cars to be close previously way like a notified offer to prevent some measures like just like a slow down of a car so some uh, interaction of other two other two car in that way so basically uh, vehicle to vehicle interaction helps helps in a way to emergency vehicles to navigate through a traffic okay uh, through a traffic through a traffic wala or hold la pettukunnaru wall hold la pettukunnaru Twenty-three time it come. Twenty-three. Guys, was a model for you? Can someone please respond with the hand, right? Emoji. Thank you. Thank you so much. Can I know your name? Four B five. Excuse me.
Can someone please respond with the voice, right? Was it audible for you? Yes, ma'am. Okay, fine. The connected cars, basically the connected cars going to be you alert or when you're having a uh, emergency situations like with the slow downing of a car also like uh, navigation processes, etc. So in this way, going to mostly feature it has been in design for a feature which was uh, having a, helps to prevent some accidents or a road safer. OK, next thing is predictive maintenance. Predict maintenance. It is a common. It is a. It is a kind of an IT solutions which constantly monitor the vehicle of a condition to predict the potential issues. Okay, these sensor gathers the real time data on a fuel consumption, which on the engine temperature, fluid levels, runtime, etc. Okay, that these data is gonna be analyzed to detect the pre failure conditions and to alert the driver in advance. Okay. This approach has been inbuilt to maintain and uh, compare the conditional uh, schedule checkups. OK, and this is going to be help for uh, avoiding of unnecessary exp uh, expenses and save it saves the time and efforts while. <clears throat> so for a checkups and to avoid uh, unnecessary expenses and save time. This efforts gonna be will be helping to prevent that the vehicle breakdowns and etc. And the next point was uh, in uh, vehicle enforcement. The system gonna be provide uh, some kind of music streaming, navigation, voice assistance, hands free calling, etc. Uh, the Volvo, you I don't know whether you know or that, know or that the Volvo which was developed it to senses the contact enforcement system with of a cloud based services such as an uh, improve of a navigation with 3D maps and a free uh, map updates and option to send the destination instructions remotely. It has helped in that way. Next thing was uh, semo, semi uh, autonomous vehicles uh, which uh, have a, can take the partial controlling of a driving, a parking of a land changing. OK, basically this solution has been in, in, in integrated in a vehicle with the cameras of a help of a smart vehicles to calculate the safest and the most efficient of an action to be provided. <clears throat> provided and driving of an assistance and reduce the likelihood uh, of an, uh, road accidents. OK, I'll repeat one more time. OK, uh, the. Advances. Uh, the advantages advanced technologies were being uh, the flood management connected cars predictive maintenance semi autonomous vehicles etc coming to the benefits i'll, I'll also say one more time which was a clear picture and manufacturing flow Enhanced in a vehicle experience, uh, safer roads for uh, driving or uh, and also remote access to vehicle information and improved car maintenance. These were the benefits. The definition was that it refers to a complex system of a devices, which like example like a sensors, camera, GPL, tracking, etc. has been handled. So with these connected cars, uh, sorry, with these connected uh, to the store, the data of a cloud, the data of a cloud, it's going to be provide some kind of real time uh, data of that enables the organization of a car by manufacturing some kind of a processes. It all of our transport of our management is going to be in deals with uh, these uh, would be these solutions has been turned for especially called a vehicles into a smart ways for a transportation that uh, levels and predicts the advanced features. So in offering often this enhanced road safety and driving efficiency of an individuals or a business alike. So these car. These car manufacturers has or also use of an IOT, which was automatic production process reduce that and just like likelihood and often a human error of like a human human error enhanced quality control. Enhanced quality control. 
it refers to the definition of an IoT automotive industry. A clear picture of a manufacturing flow, enhancing your vehicle experiences, road safety of our drivers, <laughs> remote access to the vehicle information, etc. In this way, they want to improve the car maintenance also. And the advanced technologies of an automatic industry was to be a telematics connected cars to maintain semi -auto autonomous vehicles. These semi autonomous vehicles would be mainly more concentrated upon the controlling of our driving, parking, land changing, etc. In this, uh, the solution has been integrated in a vehicle for a camera to help the smart, smart vehicles to be calculated in the safest and more efficient cost of an action to provide a driving assistance and to reduce the likelihood of road accidents. So it basically it was prevented to not to make uh, the road accidents and to reduce the percentage of road accidents. So to make this in an efficiently way, so they have, they have been embedded with this. So they couldn't take any control of a driving. So in that way, this has been autonomous, like, uh, autonomously the vehicle is going to be inbuilt. The this is the IoT processes often are all about is to prevent uh, some kind of safety and to prevent some kind of uh, alerts to the uh, driving of the vehicles. It is mostly these in uh, industry automatic has been mostly concentrated upon the concentrated upon the travel transportations only. So yeah, this is all about the automatic industry of that. So it is mainly concentrated upon the uh, the transportation sectors of the cars or some navigations and locations and the safety measures like a parking um, in that way to reduce the human errors and to make uh, vehicles of uh, vehicles to be a, a safer one. They, they want to concentrate upon this. So yeah. Fine, this is all about the map, uh, automatic manufacturing. That's it for today, guys. Ma'am. Yeah. Yeah. Um, tomorrow we have class. Yeah, why not? Yeah, wait a minute. I have forgotten that there is a like, sorry, tomorrow was a Sunday. So I'll whatever our team gonna inform you on a group. So yeah, I was I was only for teaching the classes. So our, I'll say to my lead member to inform you on the group, whatever the thing was. Okay. Is, is more any queries? Guys, please respond. Okay. Okay. Fine.